welcome back our dear viewers Qatari Amir Tamim bin Hamad Athani on Monday met with Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli who is leading a high level delegation on a visit to Doha, Qatar. Madbouli's official visit came upon an invitation from the Qatari Prime Minister Khalid bin Khalifa bin Abdul Aziz. The visit is part of both countries' keenness to enhance bilateral relations. To shed more light on this uh, relations um, and the importance of the visit by the Prime Minister to Qatar, we are very much delighted to be joined over the phone by Dr. Amr Saleh, Professor of Political Economy and former World Bank Advisor. Good morning, Dr. Saleh. Very good morning to you. Thank you so much. Thank you for Thank being you. with us, uh, Dr. Saleh. Uh, doctor, um, how do you see the significance of the visit by uh, the Prime Minister, Dr. Mustafa Mbouli, to Qatar and his meeting with uh, the uh, Emir of Qatar, Sheikh uh, Tamim bin Hamad You know, this is this is a follow-up uh, 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 visit. This is a follow-up visit to um, the uh, uh, visits that have been uh, done uh, by Sheikh uh, uh, Hamad Asani to uh, to Cairo, yeah. and the latest visit to President Fatah uh, Sisi to Qatar. Yeah. And we've seen uh, the uh, willingness. Uh, uh, for a new era of cooperation between uh, the two countries. Mm. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not going to talk about the past, I'm not going to talk about uh, some differences in the point of views between Qatar and the, not only between Qatar and Cairo, mm. but between Qatar and the Gulf states. But uh, what I want to say is that uh, economic relations between Egypt and uh, the uh, Arab states and the Gulf uh, countries, only the economic relations, uh, the overall relations between Egypt and the Gulf countries are um, uh, primary relations. Uh, our relations with the Gulf countries are historical relations. Yeah. Um, uh, Egypt ha has been giving a lot for the development of these countries 56 years ago. Mm. There are lots of um, uh, ties uh, between uh, the two countries, even, even uh, uh, ties between the families mm. in Egypt and, and the Gulf states. And that's why uh, um, uh, any differences we have uh, of the point of views, political point of views, are, in, in, in my opinion, uh, meaningless uh, comparing to the, uh, to the historical and political uh, relations that have always um, uh, uh, um, existed between Egypt and, 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 and their brothers in the Gulf region. Uh, this visit, we're coming to this visit, so we've seen that... Um, um, uh, uh, Dr. Mustafa Mabouli have witnessed in the, the tincture of uh, the Miranda of understanding. Uh, mm. There is uh, willingness from the, uh, the Qatari uh, fund uh, to invest in Egypt. You know that the, the Qatari fund uh, is, is uh, I mean, the sovereign wealth of this fund. It's one of the biggest funds uh, over, all over the world with uh, mm. around uh, 450 uh, billions of, of uh, dollars. Yes. And, and, um, and Qatar have, have, have said it, it is willing to boost uh, Egypt's uh, economy and, and being a part of, uh, of uh, lots of industries, food industry, food industries, uh, tourism industries, um, mm. uh, um, uh, telecom industries. Yes. Um, this, this is not, this is not uh, uh, a new visit. Uh, this is um, uh, um, a visit, uh, 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 a follow-up visit uh, regarding the agreements that have been made mm. by President Fatah Sisi and his brother Sheikh Hamad uh, Anthony. Uh, Qatar um, has advanced talks to buy around, you know, uh, 2.5 billion uh, of, uh, of states uh, uh, hemp stakes yes. in Egypt. Yes. Um, uh, let's talk about the, the biggest mobile network operator in, in Egypt. Mm. The biggest uh, mobile operator in Egypt and in, in North Africa. Yes. Uh, in North Africa, um, Qatar has uh, said it's going to be uh, a part of this uh, of this company of this uh, investment. Uh, the Qatar Investment Authority would like to get 20 percent of this uh, company. Um, I don't know if I have to say it. it's one of in Egypt, and this is one of the biggest, one of the most important uh, companies in in, in Africa. Uh, and uh, that's why uh, we uh, have uh, on the agenda of the uh, Prime Minister uh, today and yesterday, uh, we have important agreements that uh, will be signed and have been mm. signed during this, uh, this, uh, this visit. Yeah. Uh, sir, um, what are some of the protocols and the memoranda of understanding, uh, understanding signed 
between both countries during the, the visit? And what are the uh, most important areas here of cooperation uh, between both countries? You know, there's, um, for sure, there's a, um, a, 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 a dual taxation deal uh, that have been uh, signed uh, lately. Uh, there's also um, a signing a deal to eliminate a double taxation mm. on income, and this is really important for the investors. But, uh, you know, Qatar have, uh, has said that it will uh, inject uh, more than a billion uh, dollars into the financial uh, market, yeah. into the central uh, bank. And this is uh, really um, uh, an important uh, um, FDI foreign direct uh, investment, mm. uh, plus um, 2.5 billion of stakes in several Egyptian companies, uh, primarily, as we said, in the, uh, in the uh, Egypt telecom, Vodafone uh, telecom. Uh, plus the injection of one billion into the uh, Egyptian Central uh, Bank, uh, plus um, the uh, signing of uh, uh, of uh, agreeing uh, to invest uh, about five billion uh, into the Egyptian economy. The investments uh, are in several areas: industry, uh, banking sector, tourism sector, yes. uh, transport uh, sector. And I think, I think, uh, my dear, that uh, that Egypt and Qatar. Uh, can benefit a lot from their uh, uh, from their um, uh, uh, investment project uh, because Qatar has got the uh, mm. financial resources and Egypt has got its uh, uh, natural resources and its human resources. The potential, the economic potential, and the political potential in yes. Egypt is very important. We've seen today, uh, yesterday, um, the Prime Minister, uh, Prime Minister uh, uh, Dr. Mustafa Madhuri, uh, when we see a Prime Minister himself. Uh, with the most important uh, ministers uh, traveling to Qatar and with uh, businessmen, a very important delegation. Uh, it has been said that this is a very important delegation. It's true. It's a very important delegation with uh, important ministers mm -hmm. and businessmen uh, coming to meet uh, the investors and businessmen in Qatar and uh, the different uh, ministries, um, uh, investment ministries in Qatar uh, to work on common investment. And I think um, um, that the, uh, the presence, the visit of, um, of uh, Dr. Um, Mustafa Madhuri, a prime minister, is mm. a sign of a very important political will yes. uh, from uh, Egypt to uh, enhance and boost ec uh, economic uh, cooperation uh, with uh, Qatar. Mm. Uh, you know that uh, nowadays things are uh, uh, totally uh, normal uh, with uh, Qatar from a political point of view. Uh, the visit of Sheikh Hamad to Cairo was a historical visit. Mm. Uh, the visit of uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi uh, to, Car to, to, to Qatar. Uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi was um, uh, the most welcome. Uh, mm. the, uh, the press and the media in Qatar were welcomed uh, in a very uh, exciting way the, the visit of President Abdel Fattah Sisi. Mm. Uh, so from a political point of view, I think that things are uh, uh, coming to normal. Um, uh, what is important now is to translate these, uh, these steps that have been taken uh, into uh, uh, much more uh, uh, practical and much more uh, fruitful uh, cooperation, especially that I have said that uh, yes. the uh, Qatar fund is one of the biggest funds all over the world with around uh, 450 or uh, 500 billion mm. of dollars investing in, in lots of countries, especially in Europe and the United States. So I don't see why uh, Qatar is not going to invest in, in Egypt, especially that, uh, uh, as I have said, that, that yes. the um, political will of uh, the President of Qatar and the yes. Prime Minister uh, um, is here today. Um, uh, the Prime Minister himself is attending the signature of the Memorandum of Understanding mm. of Economic uh, Cooperation, and this is really important, uh, not only for the investors uh, and the media, also for the uh, international organizations and the donors and the rating uh, agencies uh, seen Egypt as one of the platforms of investments uh, not only in Africa but in Africa in the Arab world and uh, with lots of its uh, economic uh, uh, partners yes indeed uh, sir in your opinion what could be the benefit of holding the business forum between uh, both Egypt and Qatar during the second quarter of this year as a good opportunity in order to explore more areas of uh, bilateral cooperation between the business community 
of uh, both countries? Yeah, as I've said, the, um, uh, the opportunities are enormous yes. um, uh, between the two countries. As I've said, um, the um, uh, international position and the financial position of Qatar uh, uh, is uh, very important. Uh, Qatar is one of the uh, most important oil and gas uh, exporters. Uh, Qatar um, have held uh, very successfully uh, the, the, the World Cup, yes. and, uh, and this was really a success uh, for Qatar. Uh, we have to say that really Qatar uh, has uh, nowadays uh, uh, lots of international experience, investment experience, um, uh, and that's why, uh, as I have said, that it's combining the talent and the benefits and uh, the uh, areas of investment between, between the two countries uh, could be enormous. We've seen, by the way, we've seen, by the way, uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, uh, we've seen the, the economic model, the economic cooperation model between Egypt and the uh, UAE, the United Arab Emirates. Yes. It's a very successful model. We've seen uh, how far the UAE, the United Arab Emirates, uh, Abu Dhabi, Dubai um, are, are cooperating with Egypt, investing in Egypt, and, and even uh, uh, um, uh, having uh, mutual um, uh, um, funds and joint, uh, um, uh, joint companies, joint investments. Mm. Uh, in very important areas such as the green, uh, the green economy, um, the new renewable energy, for example, yes. uh, tourism and banking. And I think that, uh, that Qatar could follow the, the, the same uh, example. Uh, Qatar has got a very important um, uh, maritime transport uh, industry. Uh, Egypt uh, is, um, uh, uh, is uh, investing a lot on its uh, infrastructure, especially in the Suez Canal. Mm -hmm. And I think that Qatar could benefit a lot from the infrastructure that, uh, that uh, Egypt uh, has undertaken uh, during the last uh, years. You know, the industrial areas, the Suez Canal, uh, the uh, uh, Al Alamein uh, city, all those smart cities that Egypt has been building and maintaining. Yes. Uh, Egypt uh, has been spending billions of dollars on, on its infrastructure in Sinai, for example. Yeah. Uh, there are lots of opportunities uh, for investment in Egypt. Egypt has been, you know, um, I took about um, uh, <laughs> two, that's the, the, um, the, uh, the size and the weight of, uh, of Qatar uh, is not really enormous comparing to the Middle East and the MENA region. Uh, um, uh, Egypt is the third, uh, the third and sometimes the second uh, mm. biggest um, uh, economy in the Middle East yes. um, uh, and the Arab countries. Um, Egypt has got enormous potential. Egypt has been uh, one of the most important uh, platforms for investment for foreign investors mm. in Africa during yes. the last uh, year. Egypt has been investing a lot on, in, in uh, its uh, infrastructure. Each uh, President of the SDC have opened lots of markets, and we've seen President of the SDC, we've seen recently the President of Uzbekistan in, in, in Cairo, we've seen President of the SDC uh, in several villages all around the world to open new markets for Egypt. Uh, that's why I think that Qatar uh, could uh, um, uh, take lots of benefits and advantages from its economic uh, uh, cooperation, and I'm not going to say economic co cooperation, I would, uh, I would really uh, be happy to see strategic mm -hmm. economic uh, cooperation between uh, Qatar uh, and, and Egypt, especially, as I have said, and I, I, I was one of the, the people that have witnessed this. Indeed. Uh, I have witnessed uh, um, uh, uh, the very strong and friendly and, uh, and even um, uh, uh, very special relations yes. between uh, the people of, the, uh, of Egypt and the Qatari people. And uh, as I said, from the 1970s, the Egyptians and Egypt uh, uh, were in, in Qatar. Egyptians were a part of uh, Qatar's development. We've seen lots of uh, Qatari brothers coming to Egypt uh, for education, for health for health uh, issues or in the health sector. So we have always seen uh, the Qatari and the Gulf people in Egypt. Uh, and Egypt was always uh, present in, in the economic development of uh, this uh, area. So that's why I think that we can build on, yes. on what was done uh, during the last uh, 50 years. I'm um, yeah. talking about the 60s and the 70s. Uh, Egypt was one of the first countries that helped uh, Qatar uh, in its uh, economic development, in its uh, health sector, in education, even uh, I think that, that Egypt is one of the first countries that have uh, 
uh, have offered um, uh, 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 airplanes, uh, mm. fighters to the uh, Qatari army, to the Qatari uh, air force. Uh, so Egypt rode was there uh, during the last 50, 60, 70 years, and, and that's why I think that, that or this history and uh, those relations between the two countries and between uh, the people of, of the two countries are very important and we can build on. And that's why, yes. why the, the visit today of, uh, of, uh, of Dr. Mustafa Magoudi, yes. as the Prime Minister, as I said, a Prime Minister, mm. is a sign of political win and uh, 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 willingness to open a new phase of economic and political relations uh, with uh, Qatar. Yes, indeed. Dr. Amr Saleh, Professor of Political Economy and former World Bank Advisor, thank you so much for your precious uh, input and have a very lovely day, our dear viewers. Uh, we are going now to talk about the soft power uh, as Egypt was ranked uh, as one of the top countries in the world in that uh, field in the uh, soft power indices. Uh, a short break and after that we'll be back to talk about that uh, topic with my dear colleague Amal Mukhtar. So stay tuned.